Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium and I hope that everyone is doing amazing today. Um, if you are new here, welcome in my loves. Um, those of you guys returning, welcome back. Okay, so you guys, you guys, have blip, blip, blip. <laughs> you guys have seen the title, so you guys already know why you're here. This is going to be an energy check-in um, for the uh, divine masculine and divine feminine twin flame or past life soulmate um, cycles at this time. We have a lot of like communication energy just like popping, popping, popping. I'm not like reading yet but the cards want to talk because the, 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 the I can't talk it's like it's like I'm fumbling my words because I'm picking up on the masculine energy right now they're fumbling their words like they're thinking of like things to say and like how they're how how they want to articulate what they say to you when they when they communicate which for a lot of you guys that's happening like they're it's very close they're getting ready to <clears throat> share things with you, speak truths to you, um, you know, just open up, be, be honest, you know, um, for, for a change, right? Like they really want to do this. And there's this inner knowing, this inner feeling of, I need to balance this out, but it's more than just like, I need to balance this out. Like, you know, because I love this person and I want to be with this person or I want to, you know, just bring some clarity to the situation it's more than that it's their soul like balancing it's their it's the they they know they're feeling like the energy of the connection and like the 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 force of what this connection is and they're going i know on a soul level that i need to balance this because this is something really big and this is this is this is what i need to do this is my my part of it you know kind of a thing um, so it's really beautiful to see the progression and the rise of these energies. Um, and for those of you guys, like if you've been with me, let's say, um, yeah, see, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love and it's love that they want to give. It's love that needs to be shared. It's love that needs to be spoken. Um, and it's also showing that they are, you know, embodying self-love. Like they are they're choosing self um, and it's not like in a selfish way, although some people around them may interpret it as selfish or cold or arrogant or, you know, things of that nature, but it's not that. It's just the fact that they are oftentimes when, when we're rising and we are actually dropping our ego and, and shedding that in, in the shadow ways and rising and ascending beyond that, the people who are still very much in those energies, they don't want you to go. You know, misery loves company. It's like that kind of thing, right? And I'm not saying everyone in their ego is miserable, but you guys catch my drift, right? Like, it's just lower vibrational, dense energies. And the masculines are ascending beyond that. Now, for many of you guys, myself included, I recall like when I really started going through my awakening um, and I've kind of carried these energies my whole life because of who I am, right? Um, even before my awakening, right? So. You know, there's been plenty of times where the people around me, uh, you know, even my own family members have been like, oh, you're selfish or oh, you're arrogant or oh, you hold yourself on a pedestal and you think you're better than us. You know, it's not that at all, at all, at all. And and you guys know exactly what I mean. It's the fact that we, we see from a higher perspective. We can um, tap into these higher frequencies and we connect to that and we know this is not right. This is out of alignment and I'm going to choose not to engage in this, right? Um, that's how the masculine is feeling. So people around the masculine might be projecting and uh, might be very triggered by them right now as well because of the same reasons. They're, they might be going, oh, you're, you know, you're, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So I'm hearing name calling, okay. And I literally heard selfish bastard, okay. So, and it was coming from a karmic feminine to a masculine. You're just a, you know, you're, you're a selfish bastard, you know, um, which is terrible. That's terrible. It's again, very, to prove my point, low vibrational dense energies. Let's just pull on that really quickly. Um, spirit guides and angels of the, see, look at this. I, I split the deck and we have illuminate. Okay. Illumination, enlightenment, things being shown, revealed. It also is about confessions and shedding light, revealing the truth. It's exactly what I was saying, right? So um, I split the deck. I'm not sure which one was like on the bottom. Doesn't matter though. Look at ascending. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. 
and why I'm pulling because they're ascending beyond these situations and the people around them are very triggered by that. So they're projecting, you know, they could be, like I said, calling them arrogant, selfish, you know, they don't understand why the masculine is, is changing and not, you know, maybe they don't want to, you know, maybe they've kind of secluded themselves from friends and things like that. Right. And then the friends are, are, are triggered by that because the friends, it's like, they're they're triggered by the fact that the masculine is not wanting to interact and engage with these with these lower energies and they can feel on a soul level that the masculine is ascending beyond that and it really irritates them it makes them angry and mad and they project in every you know kind of which way so they're dealing with that yeah because they're ascending beyond the ego i mean hello this is exactly everything i just channeled out and shared and said Okay, so let's pull, let's pull. So we already see illuminate, ascend, and then we'll get ego. Yeah, it's time for justice here. Again, they want to balance everything I said, all right? So let's see. And and the way that they bring justice is by escaping the um, toxic cycles and situations and relationships and whatever that they are around, that they've been engaging in, living with, um, you know, whatever it is. There it is. Okay, avoiding blocking pushing away they're pushing it away okay and the more that they're pushing things away which people may view it as yeah they're pushing me away they're such a you know selfish person and all they care about is themselves well it's actually the masculine for the first time in a long time in a healthy way going no i'm just creating boundaries with the relationships people and situations in my life um for my own sanity, for my health, for, you know, the well-being of my life, my livelihood, and my future. Um, and if you can't see that, I send you love. I'm so sorry. You know, I will pray for you, you know, because people can't see it that are in these low vibrations. They're blinded by that kind of stuff, okay? Um, so they'll take it as, you know, you're a selfish person who just cares about yourself, but really it's the masculines rising up and ascending beyond the ego, okay? Um, and while they're ascending beyond their ego, other people around them that are still very much in their ego in dense energies, they're going to project their ego upon the masculine. Um, so it's just, it's a vicious kind of cycle and it's a vicious kind of energy and the masculines, you know, are breaking free of it. And we've been seeing this, we know this, right? Um, they are, things are being shown to them. Um, the truth is being shown to them about you, about their lives, um, you know, with Neptune in retrograde and Pluto in retrograde and Saturn in retrograde and Venus going retrograde and the full moon that we're in, the energies of the full uh, super buck moon and Capricorn that we're in right now. I mean, it is doing massive work. I recorded a video that just uploaded this morning. It was from yesterday though. Um, and it was all about the ascension. It's like a message for starseed light workers. It's about the ascension and everything we're going through. It's a very beautiful message if you haven't checked it out i highly suggest um because a lot of you guys here watching this right now you are the chosen you are the ones that are here to awaken and help and heal um so it's your message for sure um anyways i can't remember why i was talking about that um specifically but it'll circle back um, but anyways, yeah, so this is a time of revealing the truth. Now, what this illumination and justice and ascension and ego is too, is it's the divine, it's confirmation of the masculine at this very, you know, it, it, at this very point in time right now, they are speaking, they're, they're utilizing their throat chakra, okay? There's massive activations happening right now, okay? In every which way, right? But right now, what I'm specifically, specifically getting, and especially like the last, like, a week or so and then today and like i'm gonna say for like the next like week or so okay so like i guess like a two week kind of period um but at around this time right now here around the full moon uh in it you know as it's peaked and climaxed and now it's like starting to wane but we're still in the energy i feel this like something it's like something big is dropping like it is kaboom it is like you know here in the united states we just had the fourth of july and it's um you know, it was all about the, the, the fireworks and the sparks lighting and things igniting and temperaments blowing out of proportion, arguments happening. It's that really fiery and it could be really good fiery. For many of you, it's very good fiery. It, it's the energy coming towards you. It's it's kaboom. It's passions igniting. It's new love igniting. It's um, chemistry. It's uh, things sparking up out of nowhere. It's your life lighting up. It's like that, right? But in the context of these connections around this time, 
you know, I can guarantee you, you know, this is going to be a, a reading for, I mean, it's collective, it's for everybody and, you know, your, your DM or the DM, right? They can be processing their, their third party, it could be their ego, it could be a job, it could be, right? But for most of you guys, this reading, it's going to be for a third party, a uh, karmic partner, um, these energies. I mean, again, it can totally resonate even if it's not that. But what I'm getting is like the message is is for many of you guys where it is a third party. If there's a third party involved, if there's a third party karmic, if the DM is working out their karma and 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 creating karmic justice for their own uh, karma, okay, with another person, then then this is for sure your message, okay. Um, in in that regard right i mean it, it may not be for sure your timeline and we can't guarantee that you know all the masculines are going to awaken and come forward and do this right but the majority rules here <laughs> i'm pulling on the majority energy the biggest energies here that are being um shown and channeled and picked up on and what i'm receiving um is that okay all right so they are so so what i was saying about the massive activations for the last two weeks is I'm seeing the third eye, so the, 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 for everybody, everybody, but the Divine Masculines, um, certainly, okay, at this time, their third eye is, like, booming, 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 and, um, they can't stop, and they can't help, but look out to their future at this time, and they're seeing it very clearly, they're seeing very clearly what their future looks like if they stay in these situations and don't ascend beyond them, okay, if they don't stop this pattern, if they don't break the wheel, they can see their groundhog day life uh, living itself and playing itself out day by day for the rest of their days. And that is scary. That is scary to them. It used to not be as scary. It used to, you know, be more like, eh, whatever, you know, it's, it's easy. It's simple. It's what I know. You know, I don't have to really change or grow or expand. Now they're, they've aligned to that. Now they want to grow. They want to expand. They want to have fun again in their lives. They want new, new energy in their life. They want to feel freedom in their life. They want to love on themselves in their life. They don't want to have to, you know, have to constantly deal with chaos and turmoil and resentments and jealousy and, you know, pettiness and drama and, you know, all of these things that they're currently and have been dealing with. All right. Um, so they're, they're speaking their truth. They're utilizing, they're, they're aligning these chakras, right? So they're, they're, what their third eye is showing, they're utilizing their third chakra more than ever. They are illuminating and speaking and revealing their truths. Okay. To the karmic partners, um, at this time, I'm not happy. We're not happy. You know, I feel that we are holding each other back. I feel that we bring each other down. You know, the the bad has been outweighing any of the good for a very long time. We've been trying to work this out for years. You know, it's like that kind of stuff. Nothing changes because it's not meant to, and we know that. But the masculine and whoever else is involved has been blinded to the fact of, of what they were in. But see, the masculine is no longer blinded to that. The masculine has been shown through universal synchronicities, through, through, through spirit guides, um, and maybe through you, things you share or post, or maybe things you've said to your divine masculine in the past um, that maybe didn't sit with them and resonate at that moment, but you, there was a seed planted, however it was planted, where they started seeing and learning more about karmic karma, okay, karma, and how we have karmic partners, different kinds of soulmates, um, what toxic cycles are, you know, the law of attraction, twin flames, past lives, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So they've been shown over and over and over again. And now it's the point where they're seeing so much constantly in regards to you, Divine Feminine, um, where it's, it's just, it's, it's showing them in such a divine way of who you are for them and what this is for the both of you guys to share and what you guys are both a part of. Um, in this regard, okay? So it's becoming undeniably, um, it, it's painful. It's painful. It's it's heartbreaking to them, you know, because you're in that separation and they know that the way to come out of the separation is through the truth, through the throat chakra, through the heart chakra, through the solar plexus chakra, right? Their power, so that's another one, okay? So it's very heavy, the third eye, the throat, the heart and the solar plexus, okay? Those are the ones that I'm getting like 
massively right now because for so long the masculines have given their power away to uh, false, you know, situations, false happily ever afters, um, you know, blinded by the 3D illusions and all of that stuff, right? And by their wounding and PTSD and, you know, everything that else that they've experienced in this lifetime from previous relationships and childhood plus beyond that, right? So all of that's fallen away. They are seeing through it. Um, but I wanted to specifically clarify on the, what I heard, the reason why I picked this up was because of what I heard of, um, you know, someone saying, you know, you're a, you know, you're a selfish, uh, you know, person basically, right? But I just, I don't even like saying like those words. They're so like heavy with, with darkness to me. like. You know, like I'm, I cuss, like I cuss, but I don't, it's not directed at people. It's not directed towards someone. It's like, you know, I'll be talking about, you know, whatever I'm explaining something and I'll say, you know, drop an F bomb <laughs> or something, but I never, you, you never, ever, 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 ever will, will see me or projecting upon someone in that regard where I'm, you know, attacking and name calling and my gosh, like that is so like, that is me like way back before my awakening and like in the most toxic relationship of my life kind of a thing. And even then it was like, you know, it was not that I'm justifying, right? But it was because I was being called things, you know, and I fired back, like feeling like defensive of myself, like being attacked, you know? Um, so, you know, and, and <clears throat> there's many people who are in those, exactly what I just said, in those situations right now, the masculines included. That's why I'm pulling on it. That's why I heard it. Okay, so show me the energies and, and, and the divine truth around the um, extreme uh, heat and fire and chaos um, around the masculines at this time, the drama, the name calling, dismiss, deja vu, completely done. Yeah, it, it's, it's making it, it, it's brought them to the point where they are done. There's no going back. There's no second chances. There's no, you know, I've talked about this for a while like a year at least right where the masculines have been like in these vicious toxic, toxic cycles with themselves or, or with the karmic partner right um where they've been shown over and over and over again that it's not right for them it's not good for them they need to cut it away they need to create boundaries with it they need to take their power back um, and they've been ignoring it, ignoring it, ignoring it. And things have consistently started getting worse and worse and worse. Um, and they're experiencing it in many different ways. Financial loss, loss of home, um, hours cut at work, loss of job, you know, vehicles acting up, appliances breaking, um, just, you know, different things, different things, right? Um, So the deja vu card came out and it says there's history happened in the past and repeated patterns. Okay. So it's letting you know that, that the, the, the very heated energy right now, like whoever I'm speaking of right now, their 4th of July was not good together. <laughs> it was not good. Okay. I would be surprised if they even were talking and speaking at 4th of July at all. It's like, you know, if they were around friends and family, it was very, they, were very distant from each other the whole time. It was kind of awkward. You know, people picked up on the tension between them. You know, it wasn't happy. It was, you know, like that it would be that kind of a thing, right? Or they just stayed home all together because shit is so bad. Or maybe they didn't do anything with anyone because they've already separated. You know, it, it's like that, you guys. It, it's like, it's so heavy. It's, it's happening now. Okay. They could also, you know, in that case, that's another thing that keeps coming up is arguments over the divine feminine and the, and the masculine is just tired of it. They're tired of it because, you know, the divine feminine, you know, for most of you guys watching this, like you are so on your own path and living your best life and like doing your thing, you know, but the karmic energy, this was going to be for karmics who know about you, who watch you. Okay. And they are, they are intimidated by you. They're envious of you. And by the connection that they know that you and the masculine um, have had and, and still carry because they can feel it. They can feel it, right? Whether they, you know, it doesn't matter. They can feel it, okay? Um, because it's that strong, right? And they can 
pick up on what the masculine's feeling and, 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 you know, just how they're different and, you know, things of that nature. So there's a lot of like, just petty stuff again, petty stuff, very immature, you know, a lot of drama, but it's, it's, it, it keeps coming up in the past like month or so where it's directed. A lot of the arguing is directed about people from their past. Okay. So the karmic is bringing you up and other exes from the past and they quibble and they fight over that kind of stuff. They squabble over it. And the masculine feels it's so petty and immature and just irrelevant, you know, for you, you know, if they're arguing about you, the masculine is protecting it. The masculine is, you know, trying to, you know, turn away the, the focus off of it and, you know, obviously protect it. Right. But specifically, the there's the karmic feels very very intimidated by you specifically, divine feminine. So it's become a very big catalyst. I feel as to you know one big reason why, um, and the thing about it is is like they're not wrong, right? Like you guys, a lot of you are in no contact. You know maybe they're accusing them of like talking to you and doing stuff right, but like. And maybe you have, maybe you have had contact from your DM, um, you know, throughout, you know, this journey or whatever, but it's like they accuse them of things that they're really not doing. It's kind of what is kind of my point, right? And the masculines are just, they're fed up. They're just fed up. Okay. They're fed up. So they're completely done. They're dismissing all of this. They're disregarding, ignoring. It says, look, look the other way and leaving behind. This is like the eight of cups energy right here. Okay. So, um, and then completely done. Moving on, ending cycles, lessons learned, and coming full circle. So you have a lot of energies here. You have escape, completely done, dismiss, justice. On the justice card, it says legal matters, court visits, legal papers, and divorce. That could be a part of the reason why some of your divine masculines have been, you know, dragging their heels. You know, I'm hearing that, you know, saying it's cheaper to keep her. You know, and even if they're not married, you know, it's just easier to just not deal with it. You know, I don't feel like going through another, you know, ending a breakup and, you know, having to answer questions and, oh, you guys aren't together anymore. What happened? And, you know, everyone, yeah, it's like this whole process, right? Just like when you start dating someone, you know, except it's, it's, it's much more just, ugh, you know, you don't want to deal with it. Right. Um, anyways, the divine is really, really, really helping the masculines at this time, lifting them up, um, helping to encourage, bringing really loving energy around them, helping to hold them in a really loving space. There was an orb right here. I just saw it. Um, while they go through all of this stuff, I mean, spirit is trying to hold everybody, anyone who's a part of these situations, okay? Um, but anyways, I just wanted to pull on what it is that I was receiving and channeling. So where are we at? 23 minutes. All right. I'm just going to pull a couple tarot cards. Um... So yeah, you guys, this is for me a very heavy confirmation um, of they are ascending into their into their five D consciousness, and your guys's connections, um, especially my twin flames out there, um, they are very the twins are very high frequency soulmate connections, um, and it, it's not to take away from anything else, but it's just it's just what they are. It's just a fact, right? Um, so they are rising up into, they are ascending into the vibrations and frequencies and timelines that where this connection and, or these, these connections can be in full 3d union. Okay. It's like, they are jumping the timelines to get to you. I spoke about this not too long ago, like a week or two ago. Um, and that's what this is. It's like, they are literally jumping these timelines, quantum leaping these, these timelines, creating endings, walking away from things, um, and also the way that the divine is helping in this, okay, is once these, these karmic situations are released and, and learned and, and let go of, and they are done, done, right? Um, the divine is helping the masculine with emotional healing. Okay. So again, timeline jumping. So let's say, you know, originally, you know, they, they go through a breakup or something, right? And it would have taken them, you know, six months to, you know, or, or three months to 
feel, you know, ready to date and, and be open and, you know, just be open and in the space and vibration to pursue the divine feminine or, or anything else or whatever, right? It's like an instantaneous energy. It feels like a lot of these masculines, like within like a few weeks, a month, they are maybe not even that because they've also been doing the inner work and healing and shadow work while they've been in union with these karmics, right? So they've been they've been releasing and purging and healing while they've still been in a connection with with them, right? So when they release it, it, it happens very fast, very quickly. Um, also on top of it though, it's like quantum leaping with healing work, okay? It's very powerful. So again, the divine is intervening, leading, helping the higher selves, right? They're just, they're aligning. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like, I don't know what else to say, guys. It's beautiful. All right. So let's see. Let's see what wants to come through. So if this is your message, your timeline, right? Of course, claim it by liking the video. Um, comment down below. Uh, you know how this connects with you yes this is my masculine or 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 you know just drop a heart to claim it you know um tie your energy into the message even more so i've really been making it a point lately to go in and like read all the comments and show some love um so i appreciate it you guys because it shows me too that like the messages are like bang on which i know they are but it's like nice to receive confirmation from you guys as well right so trust me i'm, I'm not seeking validation outside of self but it is nice to receive it right confirmation about your work about your messages right yeah all right here we go all right what else show me the current energy and 3d environment the 3d energy around the divine masculines today what is going on around the masculines today oh i'm seeing the five of wands and the tower not not great energy you guys so they're you know but you know again it's always darkest before the dawn right so they're you know when we go through extreme endings hardships you know extreme lows in life right it's it's because we're meant to go extremely high you see, so we have to go through the low, we have to walk through the, the underworld, the death, go through that, right? The void, the, the, the no thing, and then be birthed back into the something, right? It's the devil. Uh, Capricorn energy showing up. Bottom of the deck, there's the Eight of Cups. Where's that card? Escape. No, right here. Moving on. Dismiss. There it is disregard ignore look the other way and leaving behind there it is they're leaving things behind this i just asked what is the 3d energy around the masculine today and then boom the devil flies out okay so this is major arcana energy it's showing this is this is karmic bondage this is everything that i just got done channeling and sharing and pulling on um it's about what i heard about you know the the karmics and the energy between them and what they're releasing and the toxic cycles and patterns that the masculines have now they're now seeing it fully with their with their with their conscious eyes with their illuminated eyes with their third eye with their crown with their heart wide open they're going this is not love this is not anything this is not it you know i know what love is i felt it before with my divine feminine you know even if it was only for you know three weeks even if it was only for two months three months four months even if it was only you know that past life soulmates are going to be a little different but twin flames all right it is it is mostly like i'm going to tell you guys like this is one big way you can know if you're in a twin flame connection twin flames come together they are not like typically typically all right i'm going to say like nine out of ten times okay twin flames come they meet okay they meet they reunite in physical reunion for like the first time, right? In this lifetime. And not too far after that is when the triggering begins and the separation starts. Twin flames don't like, you don't meet this person, start dating, and then, you know, two years into your relationship, they get triggered and then the separation begins. And that's, that's not it. 
the twins activate very, very instantaneously, very quickly. And it can, the, the denseness, the, 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 the mask can, um, and the illusion can only cover that and for so long as, as the ascension is happening. And then it's just, then it's full blown trigger. I can't, you know, and they run. And a lot of times there's no explanation. There's no, you know, it just shifts. It just shifts. They start to breadcrumb. They start to run. There's no reason why they just, right? Cause it's a trigger. You know, and a lot of times it's the subconscious trigger. They just pull away. Um, so anyway, just a little FYI, um, because I was talking about like, even if it was only for a few weeks or a few months, right? Because most of the time with twin flame energy, it's like that. But again, if it's like a past life soulmate, you guys could have been married. You know what I mean? Like you never know, right? Anyways, um, they feel like they've been living life like a puppet on a string, you know, just right. And they're done. They again, solar plexus. They've taken their power back. They are now, they are now in control of their life again. They're now going. No, you know what? I know my power. I know my worth. I know what I deserve, and it's not this. And I'm. I've been letting things rule my life. I've been letting outside circumstances and other people and situations rule and dictate my life and my reality. And I'm not happy. It's miserable. And I'm done with it. I'm taking back my power. I'm putting down my foot. I'm making judgment calls and I'm saying no more. I'm choosing me, self-love, because I haven't been loving myself and that's why I've been in these situations and allowing this shit to even happen, okay? So again, all these karmic cords here, cut, 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 they're letting you know. Look, what are they doing right now today, you guys? They're walking away from the karmics, from the devil in their bed, okay? And I'm not calling karmics evil or anything like that. It's clearly the devil. And the devil energy is not like Satan. It's not that. The devil energy is the ego. It's the stuff that it's karmic bondage. It's 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 addiction addictions and 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 you know um, you know being with someone for sex instead of love. Like you know it's these things that are like stemming from toxic traits and and different things from within. You know sickness in the soul. And once you start healing that and clearing that, it changes, and then you walk away from it for good and you walk towards your sunshine your bliss your happiness your joy and you never look back to this you never go back to these ways again that's what's happening right now that's what's happening right now look they've been planning she's looking out to her future look at she's planning a trip a, a you know maybe a vacation a road trip looking at different places she wants to go and visit you know, it's like her bucket list, right? She's she's grabbing onto the ace of wands right here. She's leaving this 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 wand, the old wand, all right? She's leaving the old wand behind, okay? Right here, turned her back to it. She's looking out to the future. Look at the sunny energy here. She's looking out to the sunshine, the light, the happiness. She's planning. Strategizing. She's about to take action on these things. She's been planning and she's about to take action on these things, okay? After the two of wands is the six of wands, okay? Um, six of wands is a card of, of, of recognition. I wanted to say watching. Your person is watching you right now. This masculine is watching you. It's like this. That's how I'm seeing it. They're, they're watching you through a screen, through glass, their phone, a laptop, a computer, an iPad. I don't know, okay? Um, I don't think they're actually looking through your 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 house windows, okay? If they are, you know. <laughs> but um, but they're watching you, and they're they're seeing that you're very. It's like you you get everything you want. You're good at things. You you get recognition from the universe, from 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 people. You know, people love you. You you know you you take care of yourself. You dress good. You love your body. You you know. And look, there's the Ace of Wands right there that she's holding on to. You carry the torch that they hold. You are the torch that they hold, that they carry. Okay, notice the wreath, okay, the circle. All right, things coming full circle. Okay, coming full circle. The masculine is coming full circle at this time towards their divine feminine. All right. Four of Swords, bottom of the deck. Healing, rest, time alone, you know. It's also surrender, a card of surrender, which the masculines are. They're surrendering at this time, and it's beautiful. 
You know, there's no guarantee that they're going to surrender and break these cycles and, you know, want to, you know, come towards their feminine. For, for twin flames out there, there's this extreme magnet, magnetization and pull for sure at this time, um, but still no guarantee they have free will. Um, but the way that I feel it is most of them, yeah, they'll come forward. And then, you know, the rest of like the, you know, the very intense past life soulmate bonds and stuff, um, it's like the same thing. There's no guarantee, um, but they are ascending, awakening, and, you know, there is this, you know, strong pull towards you for sure. Page of Wands, yeah, I'm just going to. I'm just going to do it. Death card change. The, the page of wands is a, is a very adventurous page. It reminds me of the fool, like the major arcana fool or something, you know, it's like, screw it. I'm just going to do it. You guys, if you've been with me, that's my, this is, this is my screw it. I'm just going to do it card. Okay. <clears throat> and that's what they're going to do. This is a card of like messages, right? A text message arrives, a, a direct message, you know, it comes into your inbox and it's from from the DM. <clears throat> it's like that. They're bringing big transformation. They want to change the fact that there's a loss here between the two of you guys. They want to change the fact that they 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 want to transform this sadness into into gladness, into happiness. They, there's a lot of regret here and they want to change it here. They want to transform this. They want to bring transformation to, to everything that they've hidden. Look at, there's the full moon we just had. The Capricorn full buck super moon. They want to let you know, like, I, I've been in regret. I'm sad. I've kept a lot of things hidden. I want to share with you how I feel. You know, it's like that. They want to be open and honest and bring things to light. They're they've there's the four swords again. So they're they've gone they're going through big transformations. There's a lot of change happening on their side. They're they're doing a lot of release work, releasing old behaviors, ways of thinking, um, people, karmics, relationships, right? Um, and they are tired of feeling like they're living a shady life, like they're not being true to themselves in their life. They feel like it's shady all the time, you know? So again, coming out of the illusion and just massive transformation, rising up Phoenix from the ashes, all right? So they're going through a death and ending, cycles completing, right? Releasing stuff, but it's because it's this rebirth time, all right? So they wanna, they wanna bring transformation and change to you um, after this change and transformation completes in their in their own life, all right? Okay. But this right here, it, that, that kind of blew my mind right there. I mean, like just the fact that it was so dead on with they're walking away from the karmic bondage, from the karmic relationships. They're, they're done. Right? They see like a hundred percent. They see what you've been seeing all along, right? Like that. And they've known too all along, right? But they've been ignoring it again for outside reasons and, and things, right? Maybe they had children with this person and they didn't want to break up the family and, you know, like have to do, you know, custody stuff and, you know, or, or, or maybe it was like a blended family and, you know, the you know, children were, um, you know, very close and they hate to like split that up. Right. So there's a lot of things that the masculines have not been doing because they didn't want to, you know, they have, they've been basically keeping themselves stuck and unhappy in a lot of ways because of not wanting to hurt other people, which is understandable. Like, unless you're a psychopath, like you don't want to hurt anyone like that. Right. Um, especially children, but in the long run, it will end up hurting them more. Right. So um, it's like, that is never a reason to stay or, or to stay with someone or be in a dysfunctional, toxic thing. You are the one that I want to spend my life with. You're still the one. You're still the one I want to. I am ready to manifest with you. <gasps> See, they want to alchemize completely together. What else? All right, so if you guys wanna book anything with me, you can find the information in the description box below. General readings, I do past life Akashic readings and I have a few other like options down below. Um, and if you are interested in 
maybe becoming a reader, tapping in more to your spiritual gifts, psychic gifts, clairvoyancy, um, things of that nature, then you can find the information down below. I am offering, I'm going to be um, wrapping it up, closing them out uh, pretty quickly here. Um, I've almost got enough, like my, it's full. It's almost full. Um, there are private one-on-one -on -one, um, video tarot lessons with me, although we will be learning the tarot and the meanings and all the things, right? Um, you will be a reader. We're going to dive into the spiritual side to your, to your, to your innate gifts, your soul gifts, right? And help activate those more and strengthen those more and align you with those more and connect you with those more. Um, and if you don't want to learn the tarot, but you're like, that sounds amazing, but I would like to just mentor with you spiritually and do like activation work and like, you know, work with my own gifts and just that kind of stuff, then it's spiritual mentoring, same price, but spiritual mentoring. So anyways, all down below and I'm honored to work with any of you guys. Um, it's, I, uh, had this going a little over a year ago, um, and it was very successful and everyone just took off and loved it and, you know, but it was a lot, you know, so I, I can't do it all the time, but I promised I would bring it back, um, around June, 2023. So there it is. All right. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's just read this all through one more time, okay? You are the one that I want to spend my life with. I am ready to manifest with you. Unhealed emotional wounds from the past. That's what, that's what kept you guys, like, kept this apart. And that's what the trigger was, okay? They are letting you know, like, I see it. Like, I, I'm healing these parts of myself. This is what... This is why I did the things I did or, or was triggered or stayed away. I, I, I wasn't ready. I, I was still healing from past things. Um, someone has codependency in their energy. See? I was still codependent. I, you know, was, you know, I was allowing myself to be in lower vibrational situations and things because, you know, because that's where I was, you know. We know this. If the masculines are choosing to stay in a karmic situation, it's because they themselves uh, are like in that vibration. But the minute they start like really seeing like where they're at now and rising and ascending, it no, it no longer resonates and it just gets, they get more distant and it gets more foreign to them and it feels less resonant to them. And that just keeps getting more and more and more, right? So they're no longer vibrating at that frequency, which is, is my point. I can't stop thinking of you. Yeah, that's they, they can't stop watching you either. I can see us having a family and a beautiful life. This is what they want to manifest with you. I'm ready to manifest with you. I can see us having a beautiful family and life. Okay? And, um, you know, this is for some of you guys, someone who never saw themselves getting married again, but with you, they will get married with you. Maybe they thought I'm done having kids with you. They want a baby. You know, if you're at that age, of course, right? Like, you know, but you opened up things within that make them feel like their life is going to be fuller, happier, more full of love and life and fun. And you know, all the things balance and, you know, reciprocity. Okay. I don't know. Okay. It was this one. I want you in my life, but I'm afraid. That's where they've been. And I still feel that, I, you know, I still feel this tinge for sure of, you know, a fear because, you know, it's a fear of rejection. It is that, but it's not going to stop them. <laughs> right. As they say, but it's not going to stop them. I look down at the card in my hand. It says, I won't take no for an answer. They're coming in very persistent, very determined, very motivated. Um, very, I've got to have you. My mind's made up. Obviously you have your free will and this is an exaggeration. You know, but but no, they won't. They like they're gonna be very persistent. I cannot resist this connection anymore. Last card, twin flame union. There it is. There it is. Twin flame ha twin flame union is happening now. We are in the timelines of union timelines, you guys. Okay, more than ever more than ever it's happening now especially through july uh and and the closer we get to lion's gate and it just trust me trust me twin flame union 
And even if you're not a twin flame, it doesn't matter. It's still like a very powerful time for divine counterpart union for those of us who have been doing the work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, learning the lessons. Um, and then the, on the bottom of the deck here, it confirms my message about the drama, the, the jealousy, the spying online, the watching you. And, you know, it says someone who spies on social media is jealous of you. So for me, that's like that karmic energy, right? Um, so I did want to get just one, um, there it is, one Intuit Oracle card. So anyways, I hope that you guys all have an amazing day. Um, I'm going to be recording a bonus reading right now for Capricorn and Aries because I did all of the 12 Zodiacs for the first like, like a week and a half of like week and a half, two weeks of, of July. And then I'm going to do another round of them. But thus far, um, Capricorn and Aries, like Capricorn's video has like three point something, you know, thousand views and Aries is up there as well. So, um, anyways, so I just really appreciate you guys and I love all the love and support. I, um, you know, this is my career. This is my, this is my job. This is what I do, right? Like I don't have a career on the side or anything else. Right. And this is not just my job, but this is what my, this is my life mission. This is my divine work and my soul work. Um, part of it, at least, right, is being a seer, an oracle, a psychic, and a medium to bring messages to the collective, right? So I just really appreciate you guys being here with me and like just being a part of the family and, you know, the soul familia. And I just, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. So for me to you, I'm going to do that, all right? And even if you're not a Capricorn, have Cappy in your chart, or your person's not in it, right? Forget the zodiacs, you guys. Honestly, like I would like to just phase them out on my channel eventually um, because it's just we're all connected and it's all one big thing anyways, right? But anyways, I would highly suggest watching because I can tell you right now that they're going to be good. I just know it. <laughs> and as I say, I can tell you right now they're going to be good. I just know it, right? Look at this. It's the, it's the compass. It's the true north. Master angel number 22. 22 is 1111 mirrored numbers here master numbers you guys are mirroring each other in a lot of ways right now they're they're mirroring you back not completely right but in a lot of ways true north like a compass needle made and it's true north that's um luke combs Love you anyway. And it's one of my favorite songs. It's absolutely beautiful. And if this is your message, you, sh you should listen to the song, you guys. He's talking about a woman that is his true north. And he needs her like a compass needle. Needing its true north. There it is. Okay. Um, finding your way. They they've been finding their way. Okay. Make a plan. They've been making a plan. Setting intentions. Know where you're going. They know where they're wanting to go. Where they're headed next. Where they're on their way to. I'm on to you Cody Johnson literally on my way to you head of the pack right there baby that's the alpha male divine masculine someone could have dogs multiple dogs and then it's the lovers the lovers all right you know how like you know like guys will you know like especially like ranchers and and, and stuff you know farmers they'll they'll tell their dogs like load up load up you know or load up and they jump up on the back of the truck, you know, and they just know what to do, right? That's how I'm seeing. But you could also have like a masculine who has like a truck or, or just they ride around with their dog in the car, head out the window, you know. But I'm seeing that. Like maybe they have a few dogs or multiple dogs and they're close to their dogs. Head of the pack. Successful. Competition. Drive. Getting it done. Finishing first. Yeah, they're, they're in dominate, motivated, persist, will to win, an alpha male. They want to win first. They, they're not going to lose you. They're determined to, to come in and to win you back, to speak their truth, to manifest with you. They want to do life with you. Okay, the lovers. Okay, and then what's funny about that is number 15 and 22. This could be birth dates, you know, but also 15 breaks down to a 6, 22 breaks down to a 4. So maybe life path number four or six, okay? Um, but also, you know, 15 in the major arcana is the devil. And we have the devil right here. He's staring at me. So it's almost like this masculine 
right? Again, breaking free of the devil karmic bondage, getting out of the devil energies and rushing in to finish, to dominate, to, to win, you know? And it's not dominate in a bad way. It's dominate like I'm going to show you that I can be, uh, you know, um, intentional. I can show you that I can be action oriented in a very positive way, right? Like that. And then you have the lovers. Okay. So the lovers is a choice in love, making a choice between two people or just making a decision, heart-based decision. I'm, I got to leave this person behind. I got to create an ending in my life and you know, I, or, or I'm in love with this person. I need to go after this person and follow my heart and my soul, right? Either way, it doesn't matter. It's they're viewing you as the love of their life. Two lovers, twin flame union, it happens, it comes together. It's like that, okay? And then if that wasn't confirmation enough with the with the head of the pack card and all that, the trophy, finishing first, victory, success, all the things, right? So there we go. That's what I have for you, my loves. I was not expecting this to be this long, but whatever, it's all good. So um, I'm gonna be recording Cappy and Aries, their thank you bonus reads. Um, and then, I don't know, I have a lot of stuff that's just coming through, different messages, um, in regards to this, but a lot of messages coming through in regards to just everything. Okay. So I love you guys. I thank you again so much for all of your love and support here. Um, thank you for joining the tribe. If you are new here and I will see you soon. Mwah.